Uh, good afternoon, guys, and this is uh, your first episode of Where's Your Mug At? Uh, normally, I would have Phil, but um, he's moved out. He's moved wherever. Um, so, it's just me. Uh, it's my very first video. We started off with me and Phil, but I didn't get... So, this is our first video, or my first video. Um, so today, well, the whole point of this um, vlog is, or vlog, is to show you different um, types of coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Um, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, my first one is, I thought I'd start, start off with a coffee because everybody, coffee is everybody's best friend, um, especially mine. Um, and it's one that I w wake up to every single morning um now i have a capsule machine so if you have a capsule machine that's great um if you don't um i i will also show you like different um plunge espressos and whatnot um during this not during this episode but further vlogs um Yes, so this one is for my pod machine, which is just behind me. Um, and we have a Lavazza one. Now, the only problem with the Lavazza um, pod machines is that these capsules are the only ones that are compatible to the actual machine. Whereas this, if you have an espresso machine, you'll find that there's plenty of... Um, other brand capsules that you can use. Um, so that's the only downfall of having a Lavazza machine. Um, but I find them really, really great. They're easy to use. They, you basically just put the pot in, um, as long as there's water in the machine, you press a button, the coffee comes down. Now this one is um, called Lavazza Espresso Intenso. And the intensity of it, it has a number on each of the boxes. But this one, it says the intensity is 12. Uh, it's a bit hard to read it backwards, I'm noticing. Um, so I will show you what they are, what the package looks like and all of that. Um, but yeah, you might need to read it backwards. Um, so this on the back, so... They have different intensities. I think there's a number six, a number eight, number 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, but this is number 12, which makes it quite, oh uh, no, this is number 13. Intensity is number 13, um, which makes it one of the most intense flavors. Um, it has, you can get these at Coles, uh, they come in a packet of 16 capsules, like each of the boxes. They're different colours, so there's, I think there's a, an orange one, there's maroon, there's brown. I think they just came out with a purple one um, that I saw at the supermarket the other day. I don't know what intensity they all are, but this one is number 13, um, one of my favourites probably. Um, and for those that don't know that Lavazza is like an Italian coffee, um, Italian espresso, and it, like I said, it's really easy. All you have to do is put the capsule into the machine, press a button, and then the capsule does the rest. It produces the coffee, um, and then it also comes with a milk frother, which if you like frothy milk, it's great. All you have to do is plug this into the machine so it slides into the machine and then does all the frothing for you. The only downfall is that you have to actually wash that every time, like you would any other machine, really. You put that in the sink. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll just show you. Hopefully, we'll be able to see in this coffee cup. But that's the kind of colour it comes out. I just may need to get a tea towel. Okay, so, um, yeah, lots of amazing things with the coffee. Um, 
Yeah. And it, because it's number 13 intensity, it is quite intense. But all you have to do is grab a cup, you pour it in like this, and first it'll come out with the milk, then the froth. Um, there's different levels of froth you can have. You can have normal froth, you can have no froth, or the very little froth, and then you can have really frothy. I personally like it really frothy. I love my froth. Um, so yeah, that is number one. And very, very bitter, but um, most coffee is. I'll put that over there. Um, I would probably, like I said, it's one of my favorites, um, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, and most people have an espresso, not a um, the bars a machine. They're very hard capsules to come across. But you can buy them usually for 11 bucks for a pack of 16. Um, unless they're on sale. I've seen them on sale. It calls for like $8. But that is my first little coffee that I have told you all about. Alright. So, next I'll be going through some of the teas I have. Some of my favourite teas. There's... There's a few flavours, um, so I get all of these at T2. My favourite, my absolute favourite is their French Earl Grey. It has a la purple label like this. It's like Earl Grey, but it's very floral. So you taste a lot of flowers in it. Um, yeah. Uh, and it comes either in loose leaf or the... Um, leaf or tea bag um, and the way you do this is you get this oh wait no you get your cup because this this one's the um, lovely little tea bag edition so I've got this tea bag um, and I've already boiled the kettle <laughs> what I'll do is and you can either um, drink this without sugar or with sugar or with milk or without milk it doesn't really matter um, depending on if you like your tea a little bit sweeter or a white but it tastes pretty much pretty pretty quick without the milk and sugar in it so I'm just get my kettle you boil the kettle of course put the tea bag in now you generally leave this to brew and I'm gonna do it without milk um, just because it, yeah, I just prefer it without milk. Um, but like I said, you can have it with milk, with sugar. It doesn't really matter. It comes out like a brown color, not like, um, black, real black tea. Um, it comes out a little bit lighter brown. Um, but it is a black tea. Um, one of these tea bags is per cup. So this packet is a packet of tw uh, 25 tea bags. You can find them for $15, $16, I think it is, uh, at T2. Otherwise, they come, they're like $14 for a packet of 25 um, at Coles. Coles sell, sell them. That's pretty much what i love <laughs> about it is that you can get this at coles um but the ingredients are black tea natural and artificial flavoring hibiscus sunflower petals rose petals and mellow flowers and like i said it says enjoy the enjoy it with perfect on its own so it means it doesn't need milk um but if you like your co if you like to cool down your tea like i do sometimes um the best thing to do with it is to make sure that it um you can have milk with it it's one of those teas that doesn't matter whether you do or whether you don't um it's completely up to the person yeah and like i said it, it 
it tastes very, very floral. Um, it has bergamot in it, um, which is a great floral flavor. Um, and it tastes very fruity, very floral, like flowers, like you're eating flowers, basically one of my favorite um, teas. Uh, so yeah, French Earl Grey. Uh, next one, love this. Um, when during my, when I've got stomach cramps, I love taking this one. Um, that's why I kind of why I got a box of it. Um, it contains licorice, uh, peppermint, licorice root, fennel, and marigold petals. It has like a really minty flavor to it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, but it's also got a very sweet um, aftertaste to it. This is tummy tea. Um, and you can have it on its own, obviously. Well, because it has mint in it, you can have it on its own. Um, again, you can find it i'm pretty sure it comes in a tea bag um i don't think i've actually bought it in a tea bag but um i can show you what it looks like when you take the packet out of it it looks like this very very plain um great for when you have a sore tummy um it, it worked miracles with me um when i had a sore tummy and i pretty much use it whenever i have stomach cramps or yeah so love tummy tea absolutely love tummy tea all right the other two ones i have is this is great for if you have a sore throat although um it is quite um this one comes in both a tea bag and loose leaf um, and you can have it uh, it's lemongrass and ginger normally with um, herbal kind of things it's better if you just use a fresh lemon or a piece of lemongrass and ginger and put it into a mug with honey but if you're someone like me who's quite who would rather a actual cup of tea um, uh, pick this up. It costs about the same as the French Earl Grey. I think it's $14, $15 at uh, T2, but you can also buy it at Coles in the tea section. Um, it's perfect on its own or with a drizzle of honey if you like it sweet. Perfect for sore throats. Perfect for, you know, this kind of season where it's really wet and cold in winter. Um, absolutely perfect. Love it. Yeah, one of my staple teas. Alright, last one is, this was a feature tea a couple of months ago. Um, it kind of, it very much tastes like a brownie. Um, which is, I guess, why it's called hot jam brownie. Um, it comes in a packet like this. That's what it looks like. It's loose leaf tea, which means you need a strain strainer for it. It costs more, I think it was more expensive. I think it was 16 or 17 dollars for a packet. Um, and it contains black tea, cocoa husks, carob fruit pieces, natural and artificial fruit flavoring, raspberry biscuit cream brownie, sweet blackberry leaves, Chocolate drops, sugar, cocoa, mass, cocoa, butter, cocoa, butter, fat reduced cocoa powder, emulsifier, E322, sunflower, le lecky, and, and raspberry. Sorry, guys. Um, really great. Um, and it's also a recyclable box. Okay, so if when you have finished drinking all your tea, you can go and you can put it in the recycling. Usually these teas, um, also if you have them in a airtight container or an 
yeah, an airtight container or a um, tin aluminium container they like can last up to two years. Otherwise, they you I think they last about six months. I'm not entirely sure. But this one tastes very much like a brownie, like a brownie fresh out of the oven um, with a little bit of hint of jam and raspberry. Um, also black, this is black tea, whereas this is a herbal tea. Very different, you could have milk in the hot jam brownie, whereas lemongrass and ginger, you would normally just put the honey in. Um, it's all up to you. All right, guys, that's my reviews of these. I would probably give most of these, well, Tummy tea, definitely a 10. French or grey, grey, definitely a 10. Lemongrass and ginger, maybe an 8 or 9. And the jam, hot jam brownie. Um, definitely for this weather. Um, and if you like chocolate like me. So I would give that a, probably an 8. Um, I would only give these 10 though because they're pretty much my favourite. Um, and pretty much like a staple for me. Instead of having normal tea, normal black tea, I always go for the French or grey. Alright guys, that's our first episode of uh, Where's Your Mug At? Um, and I will see you next time. Please um, click the subscribe button down below. Um, and the star so that you guys get notifications of when my next video is up. Um, and oh, don't forget to down below um, write a comment of your favourite tea, teas that you would love for me to try, um, coffees that you would love for me to try, um, and I will take them on board for my next video. Alright, see ya.